Welcome back to the program of Chris McCutcheon. You're listening to Aging with Options, Louisville's uh, only radio program dedicated to seniors and topics of importance to seniors and those who care for them. I'm speaking with Dr. Keith Knapp from Christian Care Communities. Keith is the president and CEO and has been sharing some uh, revolutionary information about changes uh, in uh, options available for seniors in terms of living, in terms of uh, housing options. Uh, we spoke about the greenhouse model and Hampton Living, and Keith introduced us to a program called PACE, Program of All-Inclusive Care for Elderly, and uh, there's lots of things uh, on the horizon for seniors and options available to them. Keith, what do you see in the area of wellness? What's uh, what's on the horizon in that in that field? Well, you know, this fits into that expectations issue we talked about a little bit earlier in the show, and that's that uh, people are looking for ways to feel good and uh, and stay healthy mm-hmm. longer, and that uh, is something that they can either do on their own or they can do with a little bit of assistance. And mm-hmm. uh, some of the things that we're seeing uh, emerge that are very popular uh, outside the home as well as inside person's home is the, the WE. Yes. W-I-I. So it's, uh, right. It's, uh, it's a great way to get exercise and have fun while you're doing it without feeling like you've gone to the gym. So it's not just for the teenagers. No, it's not. In fact, <laughs> it's so popular that at our National Trade Association leading age uh, this fall, uh, there's going to be a national virtual Wii tournament. Is that right? Yes. The, the, there have been bracketed tournaments going on all summer. <laughs> and, and then literally, uh, residents who would not be able to get on an airplane and go to Washington, D.C. for this conference are, are advancing in those brackets to a point where the, uh, the t- Sweet 16, if you will, wow. will be played over the Internet uh, among uh, nursing homes all around the country How about that? with folks that uh, are pretty limited in some respects but uh, can still manage to compete in the Wii wow. tournament. Wow. Yeah. Getting competitive with the Wii. That's right. <laughs> Similarly, uh, you know, a lot of folks are, are getting interested in, in developing brain gyms. And just like you think about working out your muscles. A brain gym. Uh, for strength and for balance. Okay. Uh, exercising your brain uh, in ways that uh, really promote uh, activity and Brain health uh, is an important thing that we've learned to do electronically and not uh, just with crossword puzzles and Scrabble and other kinds of things uh, like that. Electronically, you said? Yeah, there's a, there's a couple of products out. Uh, one of them uh, was field tested at the University of Southern California's Gerontology Center uh, and refreshes every midnight with new items. And it's, it's an elaborate uh, wow. version of Jeopardy. And it right? just makes a fun game out of exercising your brain. And it gives you an instant report back, and so there's this sort of confidence builder in your daily report that, gosh, I'm not slipping as much as I thought I was slipping. Interesting. Uh, is that something that uh, residents do in their on their own in their room, or is that part of the activities? You can do it either way. You can yeah. you know channel it through your own computer or do it uh, in a public area. We've we've got it going on in our facilities both ways, and it's mm-hmm. a growingly popular. Uh, way to feel confident about what you're doing for yourself and, and actually demonstrate some some clinical outcome. You know, there's a variety of other things in which people are doing creative things with strength and balance, uh, the rising importance of vitamin D. We don't understand exactly why, but it turns out it's very important mm-hmm. in your overall health. Uh, you see a, a, a rise in the use of, of aquatics as a, as a way to keep your circulatory system going because it's not as unkind to your skeletal system. Mm-hmm. Uh, and then there's, there's such a big desire for staying home longer. I think uh, one of our key strategic focuses for uh, Christian care is to find ways to help people stay home longer because that's really where they want to be anyway. Mm-hmm. So you see things, uh, new applications of existing technology, not necessarily all new technology for what's being called a smart home or a mm-hmm. sustainable home. Mm-hmm. Uh, simple things like uh, widening doorways and doors and mm-hmm ramps and things that are obvious but less uh, well-known yet things that are being retrofitted into people's homes. Um, technology, I'll use as an example, uh, there's, a, there's a product called uh, Guardia Care RX Pharmacy that's a Mr. Coffee-style size hmm. countertop dispenser for medications. And this is, the prescriptions are filled by the, by the pharmacy in what amounts to, uh, you might remember what an old carousel slide projector mm-hmm, looked like. Mm-hmm. Well, uh, a little flatter than those slide carousels, but with medications in it. And this thing uh, spits out the medications you're supposed to take at 9 a.m. or at noon, at 5 p.m., at bedtime, uh, with a little reminder. And in the event that, that it has a little sensor, mm-hmm. and if those medications don't disappear from the, the uh, mm-hmm. unit, it generates a auto-dial phone call to either the pharmacy or to maybe your daughter or somebody else that's programmed in the in medication 
management is the number one uh, issue for nursing home placement. Right. And so to the degree that we can help people be successful taking multiple medications safely in the way that they're prescribed, that's, that's a huge intervention. Tell us the name of that, uh, that device again. Well, yeah. Guardi Care is, is the uh, name of the company that provides okay. it. And, uh, uh, again, I mentioned ElderServe earlier, a great quality local provider. Uh, they're the, the folks that are placing those uh, okay. out in the community, and we're using them in some of our high-rise apartment buildings for folks. And that's probably the one thing that's keeping them uh, from having to move to a nursing home. So managing the prescriptions uh, of seniors. Now, it doesn't actually sort those medications for them. They have to be sorted by somebody previously, I guess. That's right, okay. and generally that's done at the pharmacy. At the pharmacy. Uh, or it can be done by a family member or, or staff in our situation, okay. you know, to make sure it's set up properly. And then load it in and then provides reminders to make sure that those set of medications are being taken in a timely fashion. That's right. Yeah, interesting. Very good. And also is a great way to know whether they're taking the medications. Right, right, right. Very good stuff, Keith. Well, we uh, lots more to learn about. Uh, we've spoken about options for seniors who transition to facility and the evolution of, of options that are available in that regard and some wellness ideas and staying home longer, as you mentioned, Keith, is uh, only 5%, as you mentioned at the beginning of the show, are actually in, in a facility. That's right. So a lot of folks are, cha- are choosing to stay at home. We'll talk a little bit more about that right after this break. I'm talking to Dr. Keith Knapp, President and CEO of Christian Care Communities, and this is Aging with Options on 970 WGT.